Hey everyone, it's Rob from Vanguard Realty Alliance. Today I'm gonna to go through the steps to selling your home in Pennsylvania. Okay everybody, it's a great time to sell your home right now post COVID because the prices are up, everything's a bidding war, all that good stuff. I'm an engineer, so of course I made a flow chart to uh, show you how the process goes and I'm going to take you through it step by step and elaborate on each part. There's about 12 steps here to selling your house that are the major things. There's obviously a lot more to it, but it's good because you're going to have a team of professionals around you that are going to help you make that happen. So let me get into it. All right, step one is finding a real estate agent to help you along through this process. I recommend re interviewing several real estate agents. And I actually offer a service where if you're anywhere in Pennsylvania, I'll interview agents for you and help you find a great agent to help you sell your house, top performer, all that good stuff, somebody that matches up with you. So anyway, you can find real estate agents a number of different ways through your network, um, through looking online, simple Google search, that kind of thing. You can look at Google, Google reviews, you can look at Zillow reviews. There's a lot of different, a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, I personally will reach out, interview them, understand what they're about, their experience level, um, understand how many deals per year they're doing. So on average, a realtor will do four deals per year. There's some people doing 20, 30, 40, 50 deals per year, sometimes even more than that. In step two, you're gonna prepare your home for sale. So a number of things that you can do, or obviously I would say number one thing is clean. You want your house clean? <laughs> You know, get that power washer out there, power wash the steps, scrub the floors, no girt, dirt, girt, no dirt, grime, anything like that that you want around. You, you want it to be also uncluttered. So take your stuff, put it in a box, throw it in the attic. So your realtor is gonna walk through your house and really tell you what they think you should do to help get that best price for the house. You can choose to do it, you can choose not to do it. Some people even do like a pre-home inspection to have that inspection ready. I actually think in this market that's a great thing to have because then you'll get a lot of offers where they're waiving inspection potentially. And uh, a lot of people want to waive inspections right now just to try to get your property. So getting prepared is a big deal. And once you're prepared, it's time for step three. So your real estate agent should bring in a professional photographer and videographer to make a great presentation of your property. You do not want somebody to take pictures with their iPhone. Trust me, it's worth it to get good photos. Maybe in step two, you did some staging and things like that, and you're gonna want it that all done before you go and take the photos and videos. There's also a third option, which is a 3D tour, and I'll put the link up here to my four technologies that can help you sell your home during COVID. So you can see what I like to recommend in terms of preparing marketing materials. Okay, step number four is having your property coming soon. And that is going to tell people about your property coming onto the market. I always say it's kind of like dropping a record. You don't want to just drop your record without anybody knowing your album's getting released. I guess that dates me and I don't even release albums anymore. I don't know if they do. <laughs> I don't know if they do or not. But anyway, you want to have all your marketing going before the house hits the market. And that way you're going to bring all the buyers through right when the house hits the market, creating a bidding war. That brings us to our next step, which is going on market. So when you go on market, you're going to be on the MLS, you're pushed out to all the Zillow websites, everything like that, and you're going to get a ton of eyes on your property. People are going to start scheduling showings. So realtors are going to take buyers through your property so that they can see your house, see if they want to make an offer. A lot of times right now, it's sort of like, hey, it hits on a Thursday, by Monday, you're reviewing offers and accepting one of them just because, I mean, I'm hearing of stuff getting 30 showings, you know, 17 offers, that kind of craziness, getting bid up. And that's really about good pricing strategy. I think I'll do a video on good pricing strategy another time. But if you ever want to talk to me about it, again, just feel free to reach out. All right, that takes us to step six, which is re reviewing and accepting offers. If you've priced the house properly, you are going to have multiple offers in hand with all different terms. And you're gonna look at what makes most sense for you. Usually you want people that are waiving contingencies, people that are having the best financing terms. And maybe it might just be a buyer that you really like that you feel a personal connection with. 
So you're gonna review those offers, accept one, and then you're gonna move on to step seven. So here in step seven, I have the main three things I say that go on during the process from the buyer and seller standpoint. So the first thing they're gonna do is put a deposit down on the house, which usually is one to 2% of the home value, but I've seen now that kicking up to even as much as 5% of the home value. So they're gonna put that deposit in and then you're officially under contract. Next, the buyer is typically gonna do some inspections unless they've waived that. And there's gonna be a negotiation back and forth about, hey, do you wanna fix this? Do you wanna do that, blah, blah, blah. Your realtor's really gonna help guide you through that process. The last thing to really think about is appraisal. And with appraisal, they're going to make sure that the price that the, your buyer is buying the house for matches up with the loan that the bank is gonna give them. Now again, some people right now are waiving appraisal contingencies or guaranteeing appraisal. That's really actually a critical thing right now because the prices are elevating. So sometimes it makes it difficult to appraise at the purchase price or the deal price that you guys are currently under. One thing to really think about. Okay, moving on to step eight now, you're making repairs to the house uh, based on what you agreed to in inspections. Uh, you know, you might need to get a handyman in, you might need to do some things yourself. Depends, they're probably gonna want pictures and receipts of all the work. If you're lucky in this market, you got out of that. <laughs> all right, step number nine, conveyancing, tax certs, loan payoff. So this is gonna be some stuff that a transaction coordinator is gonna handle typically from the um, seller's side real estate agent. They're gonna handle basically the background paperwork that needs to take place to help clear your home. Another thing they're doing is on the buyer side, clearing title, making sure your house is free and clear and everything that needs to get paid off, etc. They're gonna know that when they go to the closing table. The next step is use and occupancy, which is an inspection typically performed by the township. This isn't everywhere in Pennsylvania, so again, consult your realtor, but sometimes they're gonna to wanna to see that there's smoke detectors in place, there's railings and the people aren't you know, gonna fall down and die in the house or whatever. <laughs> Just basic safety stuff, uh, carbon monoxide is common. So use and occupancy inspection usually again happens from the township, you have to pay for that. They come, hopefully you pass. If not, they might have to ask you to fix some things and come again. All right, next step, your buyer getting cleared to close. So at some point in the process, they're gonna get that loan mortgage approval and then they're gonna get that final clear to close. They're gonna move the utilities into their name. You're gonna do the final clean out of your house in preparation for them doing their final walkthrough. So they'll get to do a final walkthrough right there at the end to make sure you've done the repairs, you've taken your furniture out, you cleaned the place, all that good stuff. And then you're gonna to go to the closing table. So the final step is closing and that's where you get paid, which is a very important step. <laughs> you may be signing a deed package ahead of time. A lot of times people are avoiding contact now with COVID and the seller signs off and then the buyer signs the paperwork at the final closing table and all the money's wired to the specific locations that it's you know, supposed to go to. This is where you hand the keys to the buyer. Okay, friends, I hope that was helpful in understanding the basic parts of the process to sell your home in Pennsylvania, definitely check out my channel. I got tons of tips on how to sell your house for the most money and all that good stuff. I also help connect people with real estate agents throughout Pennsylvania and actually throughout the country. So feel free to reach out to me. You can get an excellent agent in your area vetted by an industry expert for you, free of charge. So pretty cool service. Hope you can take advantage of it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll put my contact information at the end of this video and in the description down below. All right, have a great day, everybody.